Hello community, I hope you are doing good. In this discussion, we will see how to install Odoo version 17 in MacBook M1 chip. And in case you missed previous discussion about XML RPC integration with the Odoo, please check link is given in the description. And if you want to learn more about Odoo, you can visit the Weblands channel. Under the playlist, you can see Odoo development label is here and you can see here different types of playlist available with the different topic wise with the real test cases and this is the last playlist regarding the Odoo integration using the python script as well as the postman application so let's go back to our main topic like how we can install Odoo 17 in macbook and this is the development machine so i'm trying to install only version 17 like i'm already using like odoo version 12 to 16 version right so i already have like a basic setups let's say the postgres the python version and all but here you can see the good news is before launching odoo 17 right they already launched the 17th version early right so you can try to set up in your local system also so here First thing is we have to clone right this 17 repository so for that i'm going to open my terminal desktop right and here like i will use git clone minus b 17.0 as a branch name single branch def equal to one and i will paste here this repository and meanwhile you can see here I already have a different flavors of python versions right so i have two python 2 and python 3 both with the different versions here and for the python 17 version you have to note that like python is the minimum python version you have to use is python 3.10 right i know like in a 16 version we are using still using like python 10 python 11 but still they are using like python 3.8 right so in this case like you are using the lower version of the python let's say below the 3.10 then you must have to install the latest version right now the python 3.12 is also launched right so you don't need to worry about that one i think you can just install the python 11 version is good enough so here you can see it's already done and you can see here so here we can just go to see the odoo right and you can see here the python is here the python version and let's say you have one more question right so that how you will consider like this is the python 17 version so simple you can go to the odoo directory and here you can go to the release.py file and here you can see the version info is the 17th version and if you check your existing odoo community version right so if you open this release.py file you will see here the specific version so right now you uh, you have like maximum 16th version so here i'm trying to install dependency packages from this requirement.txt file but before that i am trying to create here one more virtual environment for this odoo version 17 why i am using because there is a chance to like uh, some libraries versions are higher compared to the odoo 16 or the lower version right so due to that not conflict each library so due to that i am trying to always create a new separate environment of each Odoo in versions. So here I'm going to home directory like let's say python 3.11 minus m v e n v and simple I will try to create like let's say Odoo 17 e n v. Alright so it's done. So I'm trying to active let's say e n v bin I'm trying to active this virtual environment and now you can see right now I'm in the virtual environment terminal right so here let's say desktop Odoo 
and here you can see the requirement.txt file is here right that's clear and now you can see the requirement.txt file now simple i will try to click to python right and now you can see by default python version using 3.11 let me exit and here i'm using map like minus m pi will sorry install so before you install the new packages right in the virtual environment make sure you can first use this uh, you can install the will package and it says like just use this one to upgrade your pipe so definitely we will try to upgrade this one the pipe right so it's upgrading from this to this now like i'm going to install the requirement.txt file so for that requirement.txt file and here like let's say install minus f and requirement.txt sorry uh, we have to use the minus r All right, so you can see it's done right successfully without any issue but let me give you one more hint is if you are set up the first time right in your system so might be 99% people facing issue in these two libraries only maximum the first one is this pico pg2 which is the library to connect with the postgres database and this python l dap right and again let's say there is a error right like this uh, let's say this library is not installed somehow from the requirement to txt file so what you have to do is like you have to just manually install this library and the best thing is while you active the odoo service right odoo service then uh, in the runtime it will throws the exception let's say the specific library version is not working like that here you can see attribute error module odoo.http has no attribute db mono db like this so you can see right now i can access default port is 8069 so local host and once i will use like this we have to just check in the terminal it says like 404 so here uh, we can see here it's taking a version 15 add-ons path at the moment you can see here right so due to that it's having a such issue to prevent this one right if you're working with the multiple Odoo instances i mean the versions so you can you have to define as add-ons path like say add-ons then after Odoo ask add-ons this too and now you can see that error is resolved right and again we are going to here and refresh the screen it's working fine so let's create a one database from the backend side so minus d odu 17 so in this so here it will automatically create a one database from the backend in case this database is not found in the postgres it will automatically create this database for the version 17 and if i will refresh the screen all right so you can see the 17 version is display oh let me first normalize the screen admin admin and now you can see here 
the this is the version 17 is installed in our local system right and you can directly install the modules which you want if you are working with the 16 version only right not the 16.x version so x means the 16.12345 right those are similar with this Odoo version 17 so almost all the codes of the 17 it's also available in the 16.5 and there is a difference between the 16 and 16.5 version so next month second week the Odoo experience will start and officially launch Odoo 17 version so you can see here it's failed right due to timeout error and let me refresh the screen one more time right and you can see still this module is not properly installed you can see the cancel install right and let me go to here like such issue happen you can just group by the status and you can you have to you must have to clear to be installed you can see there are a lot of modules is here you have to just manually click one by one otherwise like uh, if you are trying to install the new modules so it will again going to this to be installed status so basically it's stuck here and uh, majority in the macbook right there is a one more parameter we have to pass so here limit memory hard would be always zero in the macbook right and again i'm going to install the contact module and let's see in the terminal you can see it successfully installed right and if i'm going to here and again i will try to click to the save button now you can see and you can also see in the terminal what is the progress of this process right this installation so you can see right now it's trying to install this payment module and you can see it's a uh, there is a one compute field is there right so it's trying to compute you can see again it's going to install the account module so you can see now it's going to install this cell module and now like cell management right and you can see here still it's not throwing the timeout issue so this is the basic configuration only you can see here and you can see here it's done right well so this is the good thing here right you can see like this and uh, one more thing is i just gave you the demo about the how you can set up the Odoo, but rest of the uh, let's say the stuff right let's say how you can also install the python how to install the pip package for the python right how to install also the github uh, package the brew command and uh, let's say how to install also postgres before we are trying to install the Odoo, everything right so if you want to check that video it is also available here in this Odoo setup tutorial so it is not necessary you have to check everything because it depends on you which operating system you are using for the simple mac you can just use this one which is available for the intel version for the M1 chip, you can use this one. Well, uh, Odoo 17 is very common to install if you already installed lower versions, right? So there is no any different ways you can install. Only the thing is the Python version already upgraded. 
So before you install Odoo, right, uh, try to just upgrade the Python version, which I already show you in this discussion. And our next session would be how you can also set up the same Odoo version 17 in Windows and the Ubuntu system. I hope you enjoyed this session and if you have any doubt related to this topic, please comment below and see you in our next session. If you didn't subscribe this channel, please subscribe. It will motivate me as well as it will help me a lot.